Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, and in this video, we are going to work on Tetris. net function so this function produces a next shape and it restarts the game so it's clean so what we're gonna do is go into game and this is the layout we made in the last video we'll go into game and in this We we'll put next eight. That's the function name. And then we're gonna make a few variables that we'll use for basically the whole project. First one is called var next up. This one's an int, meaning it's we're gonna do by writing zero num one equals zero copy this and we'll make all the way to num four we'll do by eight is zero by stop or zero lines zero and by lines equals zero. Next, we're going to make the functions of the private function. Next, eight. and we'll use this anyone in the beginning, and we're gonna make it all the original ones. The original background we used for this was gray. I have a code right here, which it changes all of these into gray. So after it um, makes a shape, it's going to change it back to the original color, which is gray, so it can produce a new shape without it messing up. And next shape is actually this tiny box right here, this function. Shows up what's going to come up next while you're playing the game. Next, we're going to next thing we're going to do is make a random function. So, a random function randomize what the next shape is going to be. Make a random variable with about random equals random. Next, int, and it's going to be range. Range is from a certain number to a number, number. like 1 to 7. Is it going to be 1, or is it going to be 7, or in between? Nothing more or less. Then we're going to have a random when statement. The when statement is whatever this produces, it'll go into the random the variable. One.
all seven of them. We put Bracy. Oh, it includes the Inside the braces is going to be a number with a color. So the color is what we made in the previous episode. And each color represents a different shape. For example, the color red is 9, 10, 11, and 12. So we can make a comment right here, which will make it easier to see than making the colors. And we did it by three. So. so. Easier to see when we do it. 9, 10, 11, and 12 is a L shape. So an L shape is what it look like. That's what an L shape is going to look like for the red. Next is orange. And orange is 12, 11, 8, and 7. 12, 11, 8, and 7. A, Z. So that's what the orange looks like. Yellow is eight, nine, eleven, and twelve. Eight, nine, eleven, and twelve. Yellow is a cube. Green. Is seven, ten, eleven, and twelve. Seven, ten, eleven, twelve, and the other L shape. This one. Blue. Is it 9, 8, 11, and 10? 9, 8, 11, 10. It's the opposite of the bottom one. So it's a Z shape. Six, which is purple, is 8, 10, 11, and 12. 8, 10, 11, and 12 is the middle one like the middle one in tetris pink is two five eight and eleven two five eight and eleven it's just the straight straight one it's just straight up That's what each of the shapes look like, and that's how we use the number grid to make it easier to put it down. And I'll just scroll slowly in between this so it's you can pause and type it down or program it. Next up, equals random. So 
next up is a variable that we used and wrote in the beginning. It's called next up. And next up equal random makes it equal the number. So you can use it in a different code. For example, like the code put in the shape that's going to come down. So when it's ready to come down, you'll know what it's going to be, what code it's going to be. Okay, after that, we'll do if once equals zero. E1 E1 dot set background resource R dot drawable dot grid. So once is in the beginning, the first one. Then Tetris is hard in the beginning. I programmed it that the first shape that's going to come down is going to be a cube. A cube. Anything after that is random. The first shape that's going to come down is a cube. So we can copy the one on top and put it on the bottom. This one function allows you to customize what shape is going to go down first. And I pick a yellow cube to do it then for the cube one it's three is yellow put it down so the first shape that's coming down is going to be the cube and it's easier to play when the cube is the first one down and that's how i programmed it Next thing we're gonna do is write a if statement. We're saying it's starting equals zero, which is another variable that we used. Starting equals zero. Then play the next function. And this function is going to be a function I'm going to create in the next video. So we'll use a handle which stops or delays a code for a certain amount of time you want it to delay by. Dot post delay and inside this could be called sheet. And we're delaying this by 1500 milliseconds. And starting will equal since we don't want starting to break. And then we're just going to make a function that says private function. And that's it for this video. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe. Bye.